everyone. Welcome back to Like Mother Like Daughter. I'm Twilight. If you're new here, thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you stay and play around with us for a while. Maybe subscribe. But what I'm going to go through today is the Tarte. This is new. I saw it at Sephora. Now it's at Ulta, uh, but it was the Tarte Cheeky Claymate Face Palette. And I have also the Tarte Hamptons Weekend or Contour Palette. So I thought I would do just a quick review on the comparison of the two and share with you my thoughts. So let's get into it. This is the trio from Tarte. It's their Cheeky Claymate palette. It is their clay formula and it is looks like this. So it is uh, the colors. Oh, where are my glasses? Sorry. Hang on, let me get the so the colors are this. Let me open this up for you. It's just this nice little um, face palette little trio looks like it might be travel side that's what I got it for thought it was going to be nice to travel with but it is they have the colors for the highlighter and is light of my life this blush has got me blushing and the bronzer is soulmate and it is very very light toned now I am wearing it on this side of my face this is the side of the face that I'm wearing it on the blush the bronzer and the highlight, I'm also wearing it on my eyes. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and do a little look with the eyes, so I'm wearing, wearing it on my eyes as well. I will say, initially I thought by just swatching it, here I've got it compared. I'll, I'll also put a little picture in here that might be a little bit easier to see. Uh, here is the Hampton Weekender. Here is the, so you can see the difference in size. Here is the difference in size. Um, this is taller, but not as wide. Um, however, I will say this was $19. This is $19. $19 at Sephora, $19 at Ulta. It's $19. So is this. It looks like, uh, which it is, this is a darker palette compared to the, gosh, I'm terrible at this, you guys. So compared um, this is a larger palette, so you're getting more for your money. They were both $19, but just if you can see the color difference here. Um, I guess I'll do it this way. So there is 0.08 grams per each in the Hamptons Weekender, and there is 0.15 per each. Is that right? Point, not grams, 0.08 ounces in each on the Hamptons Weekender. And then on this one, it's 0.15. So you do get more product in the Cheeky Claymate Face Palette than you do in the Hamptons, but you can see the difference right away that this is a darker and it's called a contouring palette. Also, here you can see this is the blush um, and this is the blush down here below. It's just, it's a little bit darker. So I will say it they went on nicely, they're smooth. They smell good. They do kick up a lot when you use your brush. Now I used, and I will put it up right here, my using using the Claymate palette on this side of my face. I'll just do a little quick side to side so you can see. This is a little darker. The highlighter I think is more, has more punch to it in the Hamptons Weekender and it's a little bit more gold. This is more of a champagne -y pink. Uh, kind of a color. It's very, very pretty. They're both really, really nice. I will say as long as I've had this on my arm, this has not changed. The colors on the contour palette have not changed. And what I mean by change is they haven't gone away. This kind of, I've had to put the bronzer on here a couple of times because it's the wear time. So I will, um, I'll leave an update down below in the description about the wear time of this side of my face with this palette. But it does have that um, nice tart, chocolatey, vanilla-y smell, and it is a very nice palette, and it went on well. Like I said, it went on really smoothly, but we'll just do a really quick, so you can see the difference. So if you are, uh, and I think the Hamptons Weekender palette is still available at Macy's and maybe Ulta, but I'm not sure, but you can see the difference in the the bronzers. This is the Hampton. That's what I have on this side. And this is the Cheeky Claymate 
from Tarte is what I have on this side. Both of them are Tarte products. Both of them are their clay products. But you can just tell that they're they're just this is just a darker contouring palette, yes. And this Tarte Cheeky Claymate palette, I would say, is it, this is the only one I saw in there. I didn't see that they had any choices for any type, any other colors. So if you're if you have darker skin tone than mine, I don't know that the blush and the bronzer are gonna work for you at all. They're just they're just so they're just so light. The bronzer is actually a nice, nice day bronzer. They feel very, very soft. Like I said, they're very smooth feeling. They smell good. And for $19, this is a great deal. Um, like I said, you get 0.15 ounces in each product. So this is a 4.3 gram palette, whereas in the Weekender, you got 0.08 ounces for each product for a total of 2.3 grams. So quite significantly more, and you can tell just by the size of the palette in here. This is what I travel with when I travel in my little makeup bag. I stick it down in there and it fits really nicely. This would still fit in there um, nicely. It's not as, pull it around here. It's not as tall as this one, but it's longer. So it, it would still fit, uh, it's just a little bit longer. And I like, I really like how smoothly it went on. I initially thought just by swatching this that it wasn't going to be very pigmented at all. Um, and I found, so using a brush like, like this for my bronzer is what I normally use this or I have a Morphe one for my bronzer. I use these kind of for my bronzer. But on today I used this from EcoTools, it says bronze. And this really, I mean, it really did a good job. I, like I said, I thought that I, that it wasn't very pigmented, but it is. Using this, kind of a buffing it in, it really did nicely with it. Using this one, this brush here, it didn't work the same. So um, I would recommend using one of these dual fiber brushes for this bronzer, um, because I think it picks it up a little bit better and places it, displaces it on your face a little bit better, unless you're just wanting that chiseled line there, which I, I don't really like that chiseled line. But you know what, for $19, it's a great deal. I will link all the information down below. The colors in here, what are the colors in the Hamptons Weekender palette, does it say? So this is Beach Getaway, Summer's House, and Farmer's Market. And these are Light of My Life, Got Me Blushing, and Soulmate. And the difference in these, other than the amount of product you're getting, this has a mirror. This has no mirror. So if this is still available, I think this palette would work for everyone, uh, even some darker skin tones than me. This one is only gonna work for the more fair and light tones, which is sad. I wish they would have come out with a, you know, this being a light to medium and then another one that was darker than this. The Hamptons one um, that was, medium to dark tone because I just don't think this is going to do it for um, the darker skin tones out there. It's beautiful. Very, very soft. I wonder how well they would um, travel given the fact that they're so smooth and uh, creamy feeling even though they're powders. But I think it's a great deal if you need one of these little palettes, if you need a travel palette or if you're looking for an all-in-one kind of a thing to be able to use. This is a great deal for $19 and great to have in your makeup kit. And I would recommend it. Now, like I said, I'll leave a description down below to see how this wears throughout the day. As it is, I'm filming now, it's almost five o'clock, so in the afternoon. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But all in all, a really great deal. I like both of them. To me, they are completely different not only in color, but in size, and you've got a mirror on this one, the Hamptons one where you don't, and the Cheeky Claymate. So, but really both of them, $19, they're a great deal. If they still sell this one out there, I would say, like I said, if you're if you're a deeper skin tone than I am, then the Hamptons one is the one that you want. But if you're a lighter skin tone, I think this one would work well as well. Just, just wish they would uh, come out with a darker one. And maybe they will. Maybe this was just a initial launch to see how well it worked. I don't know. But I have it on my eyes. As you can see, I've got the bronzer and a little bit of the blush and then the highlight on the inner corner and that inner corner. This highlight on the inner corner is just beautiful. 
just beautiful. So yes, Super Bowl Sunday, go Chiefs. All right, everyone, thank you for joining today. I hope you enjoyed my little review on the, I wish I had the dimensions of this little palette. Does it say? It doesn't, but I will put the dimensions up of this palette right here. Um, I'll just go measure them myself and put it up there. So you'll have a little bit of information there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I did my little quick review on the Tarte Cheeky Claymate palette uh, and compared it to the Hamptons Weekender as well. Um, while you're here, why don't you take a moment and focus on the good and the happy in your lives and come back and see me again. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.